Hey there, it's Carla with Creative Love Affair and I'm here for the Spiegel Mom Scraps blog. Today I'm with their design team and I'm doing a creative card series on the blog. I'm making a diamond uh, fold card today. First you start off with a 4x12 panel and you score it at 2, 4, 8 and 10. And then you saw me making some little marks at the six inch um, line. Then I'm lining up that furthest uh, score line with the six inch dot. So I'm doing that uh, diagonal score. This is gonna give you your diamond fold in the middle. And I'm doing that on each side. So just turning it, I made a little mark on my scoring board so I could actually make sure I've got uh, both marks on the same line so I can score correctly. Then I'm just uh, folding my uh, score lines closest to the edge, folding them in. I flip that panel over and then I fold the next score line. And I'm just creasing that with the folder as I go. And now you're going to see me fold down on that diagonal line and just give a crease. So that's all I'm doing back and forth uh, folding on those diagonal lines to get the diamond shape in the center and then this is really neat you just fold, you turn it over and pinch it right on the sides and it's going to just kind of collapse on itself and fold right in and then you just press it down and I use my folder again just to give it a little bit extra crease and there you can see the shape of the card so it was really quick to come together and uh, if you had a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock you could quickly make uh, three of those I'm using some color burst powders these are really really fun you don't need a lot the color is very intense I've got a background watercolor paper with a resist it's a uh, recollections pad that I picked up at Michaels and I'm just you can barely even see the um, the little powder pieces but when I spray it with water you are going to see the magic happen so there you can see it just really comes alive and blends and is so fun so there's lots you can do with these but this was uh, a really neat technique you can see once it's all dry there's the uh, pad there I picked it up a while ago so I'm not sure if they still sell it but you could as well do this with regular watercolor paper and just add on some embossing and stamping. Now I cut uh, three panels, so uh, one and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches, two of those for the sides. And then I've got a two and a half piece, two and a half inch by two and a half inch center. And now you can see me cutting two three and three quarter inch squares of pattern paper and I'm going to cut these into triangles to put in those areas that we made the creases and the folds. So I cut my uh, square in half, then I push it against the top and cut it in half again and then those little triangles I'm going to cut in half once again. So we want to end up with two of the larger triangles for each edge on the right and left side and then we need eight of the smaller triangles that are going to uh, be on the little creases and I edged those with some distress ink just to give them a little bit of a border and uh, I just kept them subtle because I know they're kind of tucked in there behind but they have some cute little butterflies on them and I love the way it just peeks out and I'm taking uh, my sentiment that was part of that resist pad as well and I had added some of the leftover uh, color burst powder and I'm popping it up on foam dots and I added a little bit of a doily behind and now I'm making a bow out of some ribbon just a loopy bow I've looped it on three I've done three loops on each side and I've just used some thread to go through and tuck it together and then I love these um, sequins from the Raspberry Daisy Dreams the uh, pink flowers 
and I actually caught a little bead right in there so that I could go back down into my sequin and it's going to stay onto my bow. And I just added some tacky glue. You could use a glue dot and just stick it on there. I've got some fun summer sunset sequins that are really great. Um, there's they are a translucent yellow color and there's flowers and there's big and small yellow sequins in there. I really love them. And then the Let's Be Mermaid sequins, which are one of my favorite as well. And I'm just tucking those all around and adding uh, some glossy accents to adhere them. Now I've got the uh, Cork Confetti Butterflies from Spiegel Mom Scraps and I've grabbed some eye zinc inks. These are really neat pigment inks and I'm just painting the butterflies uh, with some colors, blending them in and uh, adding some color. Now it does, they are uh, semi-translucent so you can still see the cork underneath so it just gives a really neat effect. I actually really love the cork plane but I thought I would just dress these ones up and I just add them to the side panels of the card and then I start laying out my sequins so what I normally do is uh, grab the sequins I want to work with and then layer them uh, in the spots that I feel like they'll work move them around a bit and then just pick them up and add my glossy accents so that they're stuck down really good. So there everything is together. The cork is small enough that everything's going to fold up tiny and uh, you can fit this into an envelope and then when you take it out it's going to stand up on its own. So here you can see it standing. I really love the soft look of the watercolor along with the pretty sequins and I had a lot of fun making this. So thanks so much for stopping by and be sure to check out the blog post where you'll see lots of close-ups and all the details and links and you can check below as well. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.